Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns. Welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. And I'm here in Times Square in the middle of Manhattan because this is where the new year begins. And it's going to be a very exciting new year with a lot of planetary action. And here's what that'll mean for you. Mercury goes retrograde three times in 2018. Taurus, Mercury is retrograde the first time from March 22nd through April 15th in your 12th house. Meditation and quiet time help you clarify your ideas. Then you can take action. His second retrograde is from July 26th through August 19th in your 4th house of foundations. Now, family members may be confused or disoriented, so give them a little space. His third retrograde is from November 16th through December 6th in your 8th house. Your partners may be a little out of balance or needlessly worried. Nurturing and kindness can save the day. Venus, the goddess of love, transits for 2018. Taurus, Venus brings opportunities for enjoyment and pleasure from January 1st through the 19th. And the best time for love and pleasure is from April 1st through the 24th. So be open for new opportunities to touch someone special. Just have permission. <laughs> and to start creative projects. She'll also smile on you from July 10th through August 6th when the pull of attraction is strong. So be a little careful in pleasure. But she will retrograde from October 5th through November 16th. Now, romance and creativity may have to be put on hold. Mars, the planet of action and desire, transits for 2018. Taurus, Mars begins the year in your seventh house of relationships, increasing your interest in partners and public affairs. He visits your eighth house of shared energy from January 26th through March 17th. So you need to focus on the needs of others, joint finances, and a little sensuality. Whew. But control your sense of ambition from June 26th through August 27th when he retrogrades. <laughs> this is not a good time to push too hard for success. Be disciplined and responsible. Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, transits for 2018. Taurus, Jupiter continues his transit of your seventh house of relationships until November 8th. He brings opportunities to improve your business and personal relations. Wow, your reputation may even become enhanced. Now, he does retrograde from March 8th through July 10th. So examine how well you cooperate with others and how you can help improve the public good. Saturn, the Lord of Karma, transits for 2018. Taurus, Saturn transiting your ninth house of the higher mind helps you focus on education to gain a deeper understanding of what makes the world go round. There is a lot of propaganda out there. Now, he retrogrades from April 17th through September 6th, and you may have to reevaluate past beliefs and theories to know if they're true or not and how they fit into your life. Uranus, the planet of change, transits for 2018. Taurus, Uranus transits your 12th house of limitations until May 15th. He continues to help you root out fears and inhibitions that have held you back. And he enters Taurus in your first house on May 15th, and he asks you to shake up your approach to living. Woo, it's exciting. You can be more adventurous and expressive, but please maintain flexibility and gentleness. Neptune and Pluto transits for 2018. Neptune brings his subtle and creative energy to your 11th house of associations. Now, this inspires involvement with humanitarian groups. 
and Pluto in your ninth house of the higher mind continues to deepen your understanding of the world and it will also help you focus your ambitions. So get ahead. Now these were just general predictions based on your sun sign. If you'd like more accurate predictions based on your time, date, and place of birth, just go to my website, professorastrology.com, and there you'll go to the personal services page, and you can order a transit chart, which will tell you what's coming for you for the next 12 months. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. Please share these videos with your friends because they're free. And I hope you have a fabulous new year.